Lang de gise sang terbi, ke lang jalan nilai ama dan nunggu ko gise lah. Sang terbi, bis ngasih lo ham ken dagung dan kala ken nani, ya kang mas prebe lo ma kon dan nadi nak sama sakis. Nak proze i, ak dan ai nufi i tama ki lo di zikir, ham na ai moi be yo ham tene ni, muso ko ham gis. Ni mo ka gise mo, sa mo. Je n'ai pas de projet, je n'ai pas de réalisé. Je n'ai pas de projet, 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 je n'ai pas de projet. Quand je me suis dit, je n'ai pas de projet, je n'ai pas de projet, je n'ai pas de projet, je n'ai pas de projet. Le Lambay Learning Center est un dream 10 years in the making. Je suis Riley McMahon. Je m'appelle Callie Harwin. Je suis Katie Rotherham. Je suis Alex Balsall et je suis l'un des co-présidents de Students for Senegal. The Lambay Learning Center is a safe, beautiful place where children, women, and community members can come together to learn and study and have a chance for a better future. Ten years ago, I took my first group of students to Senegal. It was from their experiences that the idea for a learning center was born. Each trip brought new ideas, grew our community, and fueled our passion for this project. The Lambay Learning Center is a building designed with significant input from the local community it was intended for. The architects at BKSK donated hundreds of hours of their time and expertise and worked tirelessly to ensure that the center would meet the needs of the Lambay community for many years to come. The center includes over 4,000 square feet of usable spaces, including a computer lab, a library, offices and meeting spaces, a performance area, an early childhood center, and a women's center, all furnished beautifully by furniture designer Bibi Sec. It's hard to believe now, but in February of 2020, almost 40 of us traveled to Senegal to see the grand opening of the Lombard Learning Center. I went to Senegal thinking I knew what to expect. But there is nothing quite like the feeling of driving from Dakar to Lombard, turning off the highway, seeing the sign welcoming you to Lombard, and then finally seeing the Learning Center in person. One of the things that really resonated with me on my trip to Lombard was towards the end of the trip when all the students came together and played a big soccer game because we were able to see a group of people from all over the world and exchanging cultures. Attending the grand opening of the Lambay Learning Center was one of the best days of my life. Seeing that all of our work over the past 10 years has culminated in the building made for the community that I grew up in, the community that made me who I am today, was an overwhelming feeling. I was filled with the knowledge that this was a building built by the thousands of people who have donated and supported us in ways big and small. When we returned from Senegal at the end of February, the Learning Center was thriving. We had a year's worth of programs planned and we're excited to have our biggest gala ever to take all this momentum and ensure that the center had the funds it needed to operate for years to come. Of course, we all know, by the week after our return, the world had shut down. That was a scary time. So much happening for so many of us. And I was worried that all the work the students have done might never be put to use. We needed to come up with a new plan, a creative solution to keep everyone connected and keep the Learning Center open. An opportunity arose and the U.S. State Department was offering grants to help connect people across different cultures. We all got together and brainstormed and came up with an idea for something more ambitious, something entirely remote, but something that would have huge impacts. We called it the Lumbai Innovation Challenge. We worked for two months, went through many rounds of applications, 
and got the maximum amount, $25,000, to implement our program. The Land Buy Innovation Challenge was a year-long program to promote STEAM education and connect students in Land Buy to students in Mamaroneck. The idea was for students in Senegal to come together in groups to identify a problem within their community they were passionate about and engineer a solution with the help of U.S. and Senegalese experts and a guided workshop series. Our project consists of creating a system that we consists of recognizing the source of the land by attracting the modern machine. We don't know how to do it more than that. The project consists of creating an application. We had an amazing team in Lambay to make this happen. Hello, my name is Hassan Fall. I am the director of Lambay Learning Center. We saw incredible growth both in the U.S. and Senegalese students participating in this program. Au début, quand on commençait à faire des activités avec les, les élèves, mm -hmm. euh, là en fait, ça nous a permis de voir la, la passion et la, la, en fait, les, les talents de mm -hmm. certains élèves. Donc quand on faisait des activités de dessin, mm -hmm. on voyait des, des élèves qui arrivaient à dessiner des choses extraordinaires. Mm -hmm. Et là on se dit que ces élèves-là peuvent être de grands designers. Mm -hmm. Voilà. Le programme euh, Lambay Innovation Challenge, donc on l'a dit, au début quand on commençait le programme, 90% des élèves ne savaient pas utiliser un ordinateur. Mm -hmm. Alors à un moment actuel, donc cela veut dire que 3, 3 mois, 4 mois après, les élèves parvenaient à faire du codage avec les ordinateurs. Donc cela veut dire qu'ils ont... We held meetings each month for over 200 students in Senegal and 40 MHS students on Zoom for everyone to get to know one another, do activities together, and collaborate on innovation challenge projects. This year proved that together, as a community, we can overcome any challenge with creative thinking, passion, and dedication. Thanks to vaccinations, I was able to travel to Senegal just a few weeks ago to see the Lamba Innovation Challenge in action and meet the incredible students that have been participating in the program. Je vais faire parfois des recherches. Quand je serai au thème, uh -huh. quand on me donne un devoir. Voilà, c'est très bien. Euh, comment des, des ressources primaires, quoi. Mm -hmm. L'eau, l'électricité. Mm -hmm. Et voilà, les besoins primaires, quoi. Mm -hmm. Surtout l'eau, l'électricité et surtout certains denrées mm -hmm. qui ne sont Allez, pas produits mm -hmm. ici localement mm -hmm. et qu'on peut produire ici localement. D'accord, d'accord. Building the Land by Learning Center has been our goal, our dream for so long. But now that we have achieved this, we turn our attention to bringing the center to life. Every time we visit Senegal, we learn so much. This past trip, we asked the community what their greatest need is. The answer was universal. Education for the youngest children in Lambay and support for women seeking jobs. When we went into the preschool, my friend and I were organizing everything. We brought in all different types of like educational game, building blocks, like magnets for the children to play with. And this group of girls out of the corner saw us setting it up and they saw like the stacks of board games and all these cool toys and their eyes were so wide and they were so excited to have this center and it was it was so new and all of the things were like wrapped in, in you know, new packaging and their eyes, like I, it, they had never seen anything like this and they were so excited. So they came in and they, they were coming in and sitting down at the tables we had and the chairs and they were already using everything that we had brought for them and I could tell like how eager they were. Early education provides children with foundational social, emotional and academic skills that they will apply throughout their lives. With your support, we can help open the Lambay Learning Center Preschool to have their first class in just a few months. To promote employable skills and job training for women, we are partnering with local artisans to create training courses, workshops, and provide paid work for women who join the center's programs. It has been shown that women who are able to generate their own income report higher levels of health, 
lower infant mortality, and higher levels of education for their own children, particularly their daughters. These programs will be supported by a full-time staff member at the Learning Center. And we are asking for your help funding this position. One thing that has always stuck with me from my time in Senegal was one afternoon we were visiting an elementary school. So young children and we were in a classroom, a whole group of us, the classroom was filled. I'd say it was at least 40 children in there. And one of the chaperones of the trip said to them, who here wants to be like Mr. Seck? And every single student's hand shot up in the air. At that moment, my friends and I looked at each other and we all really understood what Students for Senegal was about. Many small things inspired me along the way. But the most important thing was exposure to new ideas and having a community who believed in me and who pushed me to do better. It's about believing in yourself, dreaming big, and inspiring others. This is what I hope to instill in my children, my students, and my community.